So virtually every society seems to have some kind of rational set of guidelines for how people should conduct life within the system of that society. So the important thing really to understand about reason and how it comes into conflict with passion is that reason is constructed uh, in, in many ways. So, you know, when you're watching certain movies, what you're going to see, usually at the beginning of the movie, is that the movie is going to set up that social system in very uh, logical ways, uh, or they're going to show the logic of that system that the characters have to live in. Um, you'll find out what the rules are and what the principles are of that particular narrative world. And then this is where passion comes in, because passion is going to be the thing in this particular fundamental opposition that's uh, going to start pulling things apart. Now, of course, one can be very passionate about reason, and that's going to be another kind of story type. Um, and we have many, many stories where rationality and the love of rationality is taken to a very absurd level, to a destructive level, uh, often in very extreme ways. Um, one character that comes to mind immediately is the general in the Incredible Hulk, Hulk story. And it doesn't matter if it's the Ang Lee version or the version starring Ed Norton. Um, that military character uh, is someone who is very passionate about a certain rational, logical way uh, of thinking that he has. And the movies, both movies, go to great extent to show that uh, military system and why it thinks the way that it does and what its goals are within that system. And then you get this hot-headed character who is so passionate about using the technological consequences of David Banner's mistake that uh, he enables the entire U.S. military operations, it seems, to capture this power. Um, so the film uses this kind of passion for a rational end to actually show or expose the sort of the, the actual lack of reason uh, that's going on in that particular system. And of course, the character of uh, David Banner, uh, or the Hulk, is a very good example of passion versus reason because, you know, that thing which turns the smart scientist in, in the monster is itself a passion that's so powerful that it, uh, you know, in combination with gamma radiation or whatever, his getting angry, his passion is so powerful that it actually mutates his body into something quite different. And the body itself is presented as a kind of rational system that has its own logic and its own way of being. Um, so this transformation that we see when David Banner becomes the Hulk is a kind of visual metaphor of this fundamental conflict between reason and passion. And that really structures the mythology of the Incredible Hulk story. 